Welcome viewers to Softy Demi a software engineering academy today we will discuss about dangling logics what are then dangling logics how to find out dangling logics and how the professional project managers discuss about dangling logics so why why we have a focus on dangling logics so why the our project manager called that this activities on dangling logic so this activity is dangling this activity is confusing so why we are using that word so i will explain you today about the dangling logic and let's continue our lecture and so if you don't subscribe my channel till now so please press the bell icon you can see the below bell icon so software demi is providing a software and engineering solutions here also so today we will discussing about guidelines for dangling logics most dangling logic says that all activities except the very first and the very last activity should have both a predecessor and a successor so what the people believe that every activity should have a predecessor and a successor so that's a basic rule they see but actually that not exist that we don't say that activity don't have any relationship is a dangling activity we cannot say that activity don't have any relationship is dangling activity i have a different concept for that one we can freeze our start date and finish dates by constraints or anything else it's not mean that this this activity is a dangling so to find out we have a different solutions for that one so the the challenge is is creating a well defined and logically connected schedule that has no missing logic excluding exception if an activity in the schedule lacks either a predecessor or successor it is a missing logic hence dangling logic but this rule alone is not adequate to eliminate all dangling activities in the project schedule the scheduler intends is not to specify start and finish dates for each activity perhaps with constraints but include logic that automatically compute each activity start and finish date in this way the scheduler ensure a dynamic schedule that responds well to schedule duration updates so i have an schedule having a single story house project so in this project we have a several activities you can see here a lot of activities here i have assigned this single story house project 18 activities project this is a short schedule you can understand very well i will explain you completely about the dangling activity and dangling logics so mostly open ended activities are not dangling activity or dangling logics please be sure don't discuss with anything about this one so we can say it but, but in some cases it's not possible so here we have an activity so there are two types of dangling one is start to start successors due to start to start successor and one is finish to finish successor so there are only two cases one when you assign an activity finish to finish in a successor and when you assign an activity with start to start in a successor so that's easy to understand i have a simple formula to give you a knowledge about that one so first i will discuss you about the successor start to start dangling so when you assign this one activity with this one this activity is slab and beam form work and with a steel work with five days lag we have start to start relationship some people say that this activity is doing parallelly with this activity maybe two days lag with it or four days lag or we can increase the duration we have a float column here we have a zero float and everything is calculated we think that this all activities are on critical path but actually actually it's not like the same people think that this activity move parallelly we can assign this one start to start relationship but it's wrong totally wrong how it's wrong when you assign a start to start relationship with it and if this activity increases its duration to 10 days you can see here 10 days and we press schedule and this activity don't have impact on schedule if you increase because it's not on a critical path it remove its critical path because of this activity assign a single start to start relationship so this one is an example of start to start relationship in successor will impact on your current activity but in a successor it impacts completely your critical path but in case you can't see that critical path the float you can't see that float is zero the float will not impact but the duration is increasing here if we decrease duration 3 days you can see no impact even even i decrease that duration if i increase 10 days it's not impacting here here you can see f9 scheduling but not impacting here the other one i will show you finish to finish in successor 
or you can see finish to finish in a predecessor here the same here if you say predecessor or successor you can understand that concept you can see the my video relationship about we have a lot of videos on that one so column steel work column steel work we will discuss about column steel work column steel work will be completed with form work completion so if this work take time form work take five days more for example it take five days more we can say that it will take five days and we run the schedule it will be the same the dates are the same but you can see the start and the finish date are changing you can see here but that, that have an impact on the schedule but we can't see the total float is the same everything is the same but this one is a dangling so we can say we can easily say that this activity have open ended we can't say because it's open ended we can see in the schedule but it's have a successor and predecessor but we have to close that one into a critical path so how, how can we solve that one start to start and finish to finish any danglings in a project so what we will do we will go here in a column steel work and we will assign you can see here we will assign column form work the same as start to start you can assign start to start and finish to finish both combinedly or assign if you have finish to finish dangling you can assign start to start or finish to start with this activity so now we will press that one you can see the minus 4 we can see the float that is impact we can decrease that duration to one day now you can see this activity recovered it's dangling but we have to assign minimum a start to start minimum you can see minimum we can start to start or we can assign finish to start this one so that's why we can resolve this activity so here we will see we will add the same and start to start and no no issue no issue with that, that one we can also assign finish to start it's don't have any a big deal with that one so the next one we will go here a start to start relationship is signed we have to assign a finish to finish with it so that one is also dangling so whenever you have assigned a start to start relationship alone in every activity in any predecessor in any successor so that activity will be obviously go into the dangling because it will not impact on your float it will not impact on your duration it will not impact on your schedule so don't use that one start to start or finish to finish alone in your project so we have another question so if we have a thousand of activities how can we find out that we our project is are dangling you can see finish to finish i have signed so it's closed out now we can also sign finish to start and this both can be solved this this issue this issue only finish to start and finish to finish with start to start successor and also for predecessor having a finish to finish we can assign finish to start or start to start to resolve successor start to start dangling and to solve finish to finish successor dangling so how can we find out thousand activities a danglings so here we can see here first of all i will show you about the scheduling option here so we have a view log here we can log here we can view a log here also how many activities having a successor how many activities having a predecessor we can check here we, we can view a log so i have an html format because we are using 2020 so you have this format maybe when you view the log so your log may be like this one your log may be like this one from this one you can see errors activities without predecessors you can see 31 activities are without predecessors you can see here maybe this is showing my previous scheduling so we can see it again so here we can see here warning one warning so scheduling leveling one 18 activities are critical unsatisfied con constraints so activities without predecessor so this one start activity is without predecessor so without successor the finish one activity out of sequence zero activity so it will show you if there is an activity without successor or predecessor maybe sometimes there is also dangling logic if you don't assign a successor or predecessor it is the prominent case if you don't assign your successor or predecessor to any activity the activity will be automatically open ended and that activity will be also dangling to your project it's obviously i told you before so you can check it from here log you can go here and you can schedule first 
and you can go again here and view the log from the log in your system maybe it's a previous version and you can see this log and all critical activities because there is one logic because because there is one critical path that's why it's not showing uh, uh, because there is one critical path that's why there is not other float are showing so we will discuss about it in upcoming videos activities without predecessor there is one activity activity without successor there is one activity if you have a latest version you can go here and you can assign html schedule then and we can go here and we can view log in html format in html format you can see all critical activity there are a lot of function in your browser you can see a lot of activities from here so we will see there are activity without predecessor one activity successor one activity so so at the activity for example here we will remove the logic and by schedule here it will show here go here and we will see here we will view the log we will view the log so you can see successor you can see st st slab and beam form work you can see project handover slab beam steel work predecessor missing predecessor and missing successor here this one also uh, an effect on your dangling the project you can see it will dangle your whole project so we will press control z and we will schedule it again so we have a thousand activities project how can we find out that one how can we find out your dangling logics in that project i will told you in upcoming activities so you can solve that thousand of activities project how can you find out your lags and how can you find out your danglings in that project i will tell you in my upcoming video so this video is about guidelines for dangling logic so dangling logics is a clear so you, you can every proficient scheduler goal is a dynamic schedule that correctly calculate activity dates when duration changes or work slips or completes out of sequence this requires a schedule that has no missing logic achieving a schedule that is a clear of missing logic requires more than confirming activities exception noted have both a predecessor and successor when a scale start to start connects between two activities you will additionally need a finish to finish or a finish to start connecting further downstream when a sole f2f connects between two activities you will additionally need a start to start or a finish to start connecting further upstream so this is my today's lecture about guideline about a dangling logic we will discuss about how to find out lags and how to find out open ended activities and how to find out dangling logics in your project from a thousand of activities a multi project or having a, a major project we can discuss in next video so keep watching softy demi